What's going on, everyone? So, Victor Wimanyama has looked excellent for France in the Olympics thus far. I mean, the guy's averaging nearly a triple-double, right? He's just out here doing everything that he was doing uh, for the San Antonio Spurs this past season. And it's good, right? He's incredibly young, incredibly gifted, incredibly talented. Let him play as much basketball as possible. Let him get as talented and continue to grow as much as possible. Obviously, you want to kind of manage him. You don't want to burn him out right away. But again, there's the big difference when you're, you know, 19 and compared to when you're 29 or even in LeBron's case, 39, right? Like, so I look at Victor Wimanyama and I look at what he's doing for France and I look at just the, the level of competition and just the atmosphere and environment and the expectations and all the things that go into that and seeing him perform on this stage and on this level, I think is very valuable for him, particularly going into next season. I right? Victor Wembanyama out the gate was arguably a top fifteen player in the league. I mean, seriously. I mean, in my opinion, he was the best defense player in the league last year. Right? I think him and Anthony Davis are the two best defensive big men in the league. I think he's a guy that should have won defense player. I don't care that he was a rookie. Right? Like. You know, defense player of the year is supposed to go to who was the best defensive player that year. And it was Victor Wimanyama by like every metric, by the eye test, all of it, right? So, you know, can he get that next year? I wouldn't be shocked. I wouldn't be surprised if they give it to him next year. But beyond that, even if he doesn't, right? Like the the talent that he has, the, the skill set, the size, like the things that you can't teach is just invaluable, for the San Antonio Spurs. And they are a team that is really, you know, they're not necessarily trying to win a championship this year. Like this year is a big development year for them, as you can tell, right? Like, but, you know, they want to be better, right? They don't want to be necessarily the worst team in the league. Although, I mean, you could you get Cooper Flag, pair him alongside Victor. Oh, man, yeah, good luck beating them in five years, right? Like, but in all seriousness, right? Like the San Antonio Spurs are trying to, you know, kind of speed up a little bit of the development. Not necessarily the roster and go win a championship. Although I've argued countless times that I don't hate that idea, given of how good Victor has been right out the gate, of how good Victor Wimanyama could potentially be, right? Like, you know, and he's on a rookie contract. Eventually he's going to get paid and he's going to be paid stacks. And if you can kind of maybe squeeze in a, a championship or two early before he ends up getting that big, big payday. And it's like, you know, like why not if you're the Spurs? But luckily, I mean, the Spurs are in a position where they don't have to rush. They don't have to, they don't have to, like they can be patient. The right deal's there. Take it. If it's not, leave it. Um, you know, like they, and they've been linked to guys like Lori Markinen is a guy that they're still linked to. Right? And it's very possible that maybe they end up pulling that off. We'll see what happens with the, the Golden State Warriors. I still think the Warriors are most likely to get that done. But regardless, it all hinges on Victor. Right? What does he do? What does he become next season? Right? Like, again, I think that there was a genuine argument that he was a top 15 player last year because of both sides of the basketball. Is he still very raw? Does he still have a lot of work to do and like growth and upside? Of course. Again, he's 19 or rookie. Like, he has tons of stuff he needs to work on, right? Like, it all, it's all part of the game, right? I mean, every player, even LeBron can develop and, and get better, right? Like, there's always, and you should be looking for that. But, you now, if he can move into that, like, consensus top 10, right? or even arguably top 10, but, like, at, at, like, at least, I guess, the arguably top 10. But if he could clearly be one of the 10 best players in the league next year, I think it furthers the argument. And Olympic basketball could help in that regard, right? Because where most people are training and doing all that stuff, he's still playing very hard, impactful, rough basketball game. Right? I mean, the, the, the Olympics, I mean, it's been physical. Right? Like, it's not like the NBA. It's been very physical. It's just a different game in a lot of ways. And, you know, I just, I look at what the Spurs did. Brandon and Chris Paul, I've said repeatedly, I think that that was the best move the Spurs could have made outside of, like, you know, of course, like, landing Jokic or something. But 
for such a young team with such young guards, Chris Paul makes all the sense in the world. You want to develop uh, Stephon Castle into a legit point guard in this league. We saw what Chris Paul was able to do with SGA. SGA has repeatedly talked about how much of an impact Chris Paul had on his game and evolving him into the player that he is today. Right, If he can kind of have similar effect on Castle and then you have Vassell and you know, like Chris Paul, I think, was a brilliant acquisition. Plus, Chris Paul is going to make things so much easier for Victor, right? And then you add in a guy like Harrison Barnes, veteran 3 and D guy, can help with the wings uh, that this team has. Again, gives you another veteran guy that can come in, won a championship, has championship DNA, kind of knows the grind and knows how it works. He's a guy that plays his role, understands his role, not going to go outside of it. Right? He's not going to take away from the guys that you want. Uh, to, to really kind of focus on this year. Again, this is a development level year, but you add in the combination of Team USA. You add in the combination of Chris Paul. And you kind of just look at those two, and it's just like, man, if come the trade deadline, Victor is like unbelievable. Like, this dude is clearly one of the 10 best players in the league, or maybe even better. Do you kind of just like make that push? Do you kind of just make that move? Try to like if so, again, if something's there, you don't just make the move just to make the move. But you know, if if somebody that makes sense becomes available, right? Like you never know who's going to become available. Like right now, you know, every few months a new star is available, right? Like the the Phoenix Suns could start crumbling and falling apart and and they're a disaster again and you know, maybe Devin Booker's like, get me out of here type thing. And it's like, man, go get Devin Booker, right? Like, I just think there is an argument with that given the the shape of this team, the shape of this roster, and, you know, what Victor was last year, what Victor could potentially be next year, and then also on top of that playing with Team USA, I just think it's a combination that spells just real success for the Spurs in Victor. Again, I, I, I'm not talking about like championship level success, but I mean, I wouldn't be shocked if they're a playoff team or, you know, I think play in is, is realistic, you know, but again, a couple things kind of fall your way. Once you get to like the trade deadline area, you get a couple teams that, you know, are like, ah, it didn't go the way that we wanted it to. We're not as good as we thought. Let's start, you know, selling the farm a little bit here and, and, try to recoup what we can and, and maybe try to get a better draft pick. Yeah, and all of a sudden the Spurs kind of sneak in, you know, to, to sixth. I don't think that that's impossible. I don't think that that's like completely unlikely. I mean, it's not something I'd bet on personally, but I think it's something that like, I don't think anyone would be shocked if all of a sudden they're the sixth seed. But I think definitely, I mean, if they can get into that play and I think that that's a huge step, right? If you can get into that top 10, right? Like, and now you're playing team, you get that experience of a playoff level basketball um, with you know just the the young guys that you have. I think that, that can go a long way too. But I really, do. I think team, I think playing for France and playing for you know the Olympics and all that stuff, and you know being in Paris and all that. Like I think this is really good for Victor. I think it's going to help him translate a lot um, next season in year two. Right? I mean, sky's the limit for this kid. Seriously. This guy is already special, and he's only going to get better, which is terrifying. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion. Pass a question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? What are your thoughts? Um, do you agree? Do you think, like, yeah, like the the Olympics, great for Victor, really gets him some some reps and, you know, allows him to kind of play some high-pressure, high-level basketball uh, going into next season. Uh, do you think, no, like, you know, I don't think it's going to make a difference. Um what do you think they should do with the roster and all that stuff? Should they kind of expedite things? Should they kind of just stay patient? Do you, like, wait, kind of let things play out, see what the landscape is? And like I said, they don't have to make a move, like, today, right? Like, do you kind of just, you know, see, like, okay, where are we in the scheme of things? Like, now come the trade deadline, if you're, like, you know, a game out of six or something, do you just go, like, hey, you know what? Like, maybe we should make a push. Maybe we should go make a big, impactful trade. 
you know, it's, it's always something to, to kind of keep in mind. Again, Spurs are in great shape. Like, there's, I don't think that there's necessarily a wrong answer here, right? Stay patient, make a big splash. Either way, I think you're you're playing with house money, right? So, anyway, again, how you feel? Let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me not. So we enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. Not subscribe channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.